Hi everyone, today we're installing this. Now I bet you're wondering what comes in a box this kind of size, which weighs nothing. These are wind deflectors. Uh, now we have these on our T6 Ocean before um, and uh, we love them. Uh, it means that you can leave the window cracked open a little bit uh, at, the, uh, at the front on the front windows when you go to sleep and things just let a little bit of air through. Uh, without uh, the risk of rain and to be honest you can't even see that the windows open when you've got wind deflectors fitted so we wanted them again on this uh, let's get them open you can see exactly what you get not a lot so you get two strips of plastic just like this uh, on the back side of them you can see that there's the uh, 3m vhb tape that's the stuff with the red backing on a little bit of foam on it as well uh, and these are stick on the outside type. Now we had tried some um, Heiko ones, Heco ones, um, which go actually inside the uh, window channel with a couple of clips and things. But we found the fit wasn't brilliant and um, you tended to find that occasionally the window would roll up and then bounce back down again because the clips um, kind of pushed the window slightly and it was the anti-trap. Uh, anti um, mechanism on the window would just release it so uh, we wanted the stick on the outside type which is this type now these are genuine Volkswagen ones uh, I'll put a part number in the comments below uh, and in the description uh, so you can see I think Volkswagen are starting to change their design of these though to potentially be the type which go inside the channel we haven't tried those so the seller I got these from on eBay says that uh, he's got more than 10 in stock. I don't know how many, just says 10 plus. Uh, I'll put a link in the uh, description below so you can check these out if you want these exact ones that I'm using right now. So uh, hopefully you can get some if you want them. So uh, they are handed, left hand side, right hand side. Uh, there is some instructions in the pack here as well. We'll just take a very quick look at. Oh, just get those open. It's going to be the usual kind of procedure that we've done before when fitting things on the outside of the van which stick on. Um, so we're going to need to wipe it down and guess what? Two alcohol wipes included, which is great. Uh, it saves me using my special bottle of IPA that I thought I was going to have to. Uh, and then these are just the normal instructions where it basically says wipe down, um, effectively line them up, peel the tapes back a bit like I've done on the uh, video where we mounted this um, uh, rear bumper protector. If you haven't seen that, click on the link up there and you'll see. Um, and then you hold it in place, pull the tapes off, job done. So let's uh, move around the front and have a quick look and get these mounted. Right now, as you can see, it has been raining a bit. So I'm just gonna use a bit of uh, kitchen towel just to make sure this is all nice and dry before we do anything uh, make sure it's all okay which it is now let's get one of these open so you can see what we've actually got right as you can see they're quite flexible um, and on the back here so this is the driver's side, obviously. Uh, you've got a bit of tape, then a little bit of foam, and that's to cover up this little area here, um, just at the front, if you can see that. Uh, and then uh, the large big tape, and then another short piece of tape there. So effectively, we need to get it so that it's stuck just in the right place there. So I'm looking down on the inside. You can see there's a bit of tape which is gonna go on the, wing, the plastic wing mirror cowl. I can see that that bit of foam is going to push nice and tight against there. Make sure it doesn't create any whistling noises or anything like that. And I can make sure that this end here is just right as well. Looking all the way along, looks all level. That's going to stick on nicely. So I've got to now just prep these bits of tape. This first one I'm actually going to take off completely because it's so small. I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything other than that so let's just peel the red off this one there we go uh, this next one 
I am going to peel at 45 degrees like they suggested um, so I can pull it off while it's held in place if I can just get it started the problem with these tapes is that they're extremely uh, sticky and that means that the red on them as well is incredibly difficult to get off and get started right there we go so just folded that bit of red up like that you can see uh, and then this end one here I'm also going to take this one and just peel it just slightly to the side just like that so I'll be able to pull it off when this is in place right so before we do that nearly made the fatal mistake not wiping it down got the uh, alcohol wipe here this just makes sure that it's got a really good really good bond when it goes on so just give it a bit of a wipe with this all the way around where it's going to stick there we go just give that a second the alcohol just flashes off to nothing so you don't need to wipe it off or anything like that you can see it's just uh, all going now and then here we go so got my tape out and ready on both ends I can feel that so I've already taken the tape off this one completely here remember so just need to make sure I'm going to get this in the right place same as up here you can move it around very slightly by pulling it off but it's not that easy so it's important to try to get this as accurate as possible right so I've just stuck the very corner of that one down there this one's stuck here that's stuck there give that a good push and now I'm just checking all the way along the top that's all nice and neat so I now know that if I pull this like this that is going to give me the ability to push that down against there keep going I think the instructions actually said to put this tape underneath rather than at the top just makes it very slightly easier but hey -ho. there we go push that into place just like that and then this final one at the end here just goes up pushes that there make sure it's got a nice strong bond and now that is well and truly in place and I can look down the front there you can see that's nicely sealed and there you go one fitted wind deflector so if I try and put the uh, window down now what you'll see there you go so I've got the window down by about an inch now and you can probably just about see that uh, so if I stand here you can that's my finger going straight out but I've got a good inch there could be a bit less and it just gives you a nice bit of ventilation uh, which goes through so hopefully that's been helpful for you um, obviously you can shut the window the window is actually open but you can't see it at all uh, and uh, that's it that's a nice good job done if you like these kind of videos please like and subscribe and we'll see you again soon for some more California time